In this video, I will explain how to produce an ITF-14 barcode on a label using the barcode label software. ITF-14 has several names including shipping container code, carton code, and GTIN-14. It is used by companies to identify a logistic unit which can be any combination of trade items packed together for storage and or transportation purposes for example, a case, pallet, or parcel. For the purpose of the tutorial, I will only add the barcode to the label and use the data to create the barcode. It is in no way an officially designed label for ITF-14. If you have questions about how to set up the label to meet standards, I recommend reviewing the information in your specification guide. Open the barcode label software. Select the printer and choose Next. Set up the label to match your requirements and choose OK. Select the barcode from the menu. Right click the barcode and select Properties. For the purpose of the tutorial, I will use a standard value. The label software is capable of importing data from several database sources. Select the encoding tab. Set the barcode encoding to interleave 2 of 5. Ensure use check digit is enabled. Set the value for bare bars for horizontal and vertical. Select Apply. Select the Value tab. Enter the ITF-14 information. The Indicator. This denotes the level of packaging for a particular carton. This one-digit prefix can range from 0 to 8. GS1 Company Prefix Vendors must obtain a GS1 Company Prefix directly from GS1 to uniquely identify their company. Item Reference References the same product number used for the item level GTIN when carton is made up. Check digit. This is the last digit of the GTIN 14. It's calculated using a mod 10. Because the default human readable does not have the ability to format the standard ITF 14 label, there is an option to add and format text. Add a text object to the label. Double click it to access its properties. Enter the ITF-14 human-readable data in the correct format. Select Apply. Select the Font tab. Adjust the font size and the font name. Then select OK. Double click the barcode. In this case, we're going to remove the human readable from the barcode. So we'll go ahead and select the text tab and then in there select no text. Select apply and OK. And now we have our ITF 14 label. It's not perfect. 
Again, you'll have to review your specifications, but this is how you can create this barcode using the ID Automation barcode label software.